Ideally, I would want you to learn all the memory techniques out there because hopefully you're learning all sorts of information. But let's say you just want to learn names and faces. You want to be able to memorize any name out there. And so, of course, you would practice that specific event and use different techniques, you know, maybe image of the face method, whatever it may be. So you constantly practice that. But here's the thing. Let's say if that's your only goal, you wouldn't need a number system, right? But you might think, hey, let me create a number system just because it's a memory technique. Well, that's not really useful because if your sole purpose is to memorize names and that's the only thing that matters, creating a number system is just a waste of time at that point. And you might be thinking, hey, I could create my number system and then one day if I ever need to use it, I have it. That's not true. Creating your system is step one. Step two is practicing it, memorizing your number system, right? And so just because you have a number system doesn't mean you know how to use it. That comes with all the practice. And so if you know what you're doing already, what kind of information exactly you want to learn, then just use those specific memory techniques because why learn other memory techniques that you would never use? So even with names and faces, you won't really need a memory palace, right? So why would you go out and start creating all these palaces if you're never going to use them? It's just wasted effort at that point. And so I want you to be really clear on what you're trying to do and if you would ever use any of these different memory techniques or memory systems that are out there because creating a memory system takes time and then it takes more time to master it and actually learn it because creating it doesn't mean that you automatically know it. So if you know what you're doing, then you could kind of leave out some memory techniques here and there because it really doesn't benefit you, you know? And if you're memorizing you know, anything like from a competition, of course, you probably have to have everything, all the different memory systems, um, different memory techniques, stuff like that, because this kind of covers everything. But if you're so specific on names and faces, memory palace, number system, alphabet system, all that stuff really doesn't have any value to you. Memorizing just random words, you know, trying to memorize something word for word. Yes, you could get away with memorizing any numbers that appear randomly by just kind of creating an image for the number on the spot. So you don't necessarily need a number system. And so it's really up to you on what you're doing and you have to really analyze what do I have to create, what do I need, and what can I leave out. But like I said before, I recommend just getting a well-rounded feel for all memory techniques because you never know when you might need to use them. And it's better to have that technique than not have it at all, right? And so if you're so keen on just names and faces, don't have a number system. It's a waste of time. So just figure out what you want to do and you'll be just fine. But there's always no downside to learning all the memory techniques. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.